Tonight. This portion of the news brought to you by BTC Every Day. Government pressing full steam ahead with the implementation of national health insurance come January 1st. Good evening, everyone. I'm Charisma Robinson. I'm Keisha Adderley. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Prime Minister Perry Christie says his government will not be distracted by detractors with hidden agendas on the no or from the noise of those intent on stopping progress. He says the Bahamas is behind in providing universal health care for its people compared to its counterparts in the region, and NHI is designed to not only level the playing field, but more importantly, save lives and change lifestyles. Tonight, Lynn Watson speaks with the Prime Minister on on the NHI rollout. These are the facts Prime Minister Right Honorable Perry Christie says Bahamians should be concerned about. National health insurance is a financing instrument to making Bahamians healthier, providing access to facilities to assist in delivering quality health care. Also, the Prime Minister notes that when NHI is rolled out in January, there will be no specific timelines, but benefits will be available even at the most basic level known as primary care. Let's say a doctor is examining you, for example, and he says, oh, I'm, my examination of Clint Watson is paid for, but I've now diagnosed him as having something wrong with him. We're creating a fund that that doctor will be able to refer to, knowing that since you've diagnosed something seriously, then we, have, we will be able to address it. So we're actually going to create a fund that we will have. So even in the primary care, because everything is in phases. If something is untoward, then we're going to be able to try to cover that person by creating a fund that will do that until such time as we have the benefits package implemented. Mr. Christie says the rollout will be done properly and effectively with registration for primary care, which will be the initial offering. He says they will be working with doctors to ensure a successful launch. There is no need for us to fight. I was told that the industry is ramping up their public relations. Well, you can ramp up as much as you like. There is nothing adversarial about what we're trying to do. The most important thing is for everyone to understand we do not want to disrupt the industry. We do not want to cause people to lose jobs. We do not want to impact negatively the economy of the Bahamas. We are not going to impose on the economy of Bahamas more than it could bear at any given time. As for concerns over bad public relations ahead of implementation, Mr. Christie was clear. The information will be forthcoming once the experts are done calculating the costs and an education campaign will launch on day one. We're having a number of young doctors. We have employed not just Sanagest, the Costa Rican firm, but we have PricewaterhouseCoopers employed. We have people who worked on Obamacare employed, working for us through the accounting firms. Um, we're doing special exercising on costing now, but I don't think you're ever going to have that. This is something that you have to work out and ensure that you're doing it properly and effectively. A major part of NHI will be the launch of Healthy Lifestyles Initiative and the upgrading of the healthcare sector. I expect the Ministry of Education to be involved from preschools up to the College of the Bahamas and being able to be launching in the school system healthy lifestyles, um, being able to, to have people embrace this because it's all a part of improving the health care. I want people to see the work we're going to be doing now in fixing the Princess Margaret Hospital pending the launch right, of other parts of the national plan where we put new facilities in place for the Bahamians. When this is going to be here, it's going to be in Grand Bahama, it's going to be in Eleuthera, but we are, you're going to find a comprehensive body of work going on at the same time. It's important to know that with the implementation of NHI will come a revolution of the healthcare sector. It's already begun. Prime Minister Christie says you can expect to see even greater transformation throughout the entire public sector. Clint Watson, ZNS Network News. With the end of the year just a few short weeks away, Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie says they have gotten several assurances from the China Export-Import Bank and those assurances spell good news for the Bahama Resort. I expect some significant development before 
the end of December with respect to giving more certainty as to the steps that will be taken. They're being worked out and worked on as we speak. Has been entertaining proposals from major companies and Mr. Christie says he expects when the dust settles, the country will be pleased with the new buyers who he is convinced will honor all agreements, including the full payment to all Bahamian contractors. When we came in on Friday, I had to come straight here for meetings with a group that had come in from China. This is the group that has purchased Club Med Worldwide, a Chinese group that owns now the Club Med um, operations worldwide. This is the group that is building Atlantis in China and the group that has sold Cousin under contract to superintend that. This group has had a team of people here in the Bahamas for several days. Its chairman is coming back out next week. There is absolutely no doubt there's extraordinary interest and there's no doubt that they have an extraordinary amount of money to dedicate to the project. That just gives you an example. Now that is not our decision. That is the decision to be made by the bank, the receivers, but we are saying to them, we want it now. We have also been stressing the need for the 2,000 young people who had been trained it, to move quickly so that they don't go and work in other places, and therefore you have to go through a new training program again. Let's strike while the iron is hot and get these people back online to be able to go in a defined period of time to work at Bahama. Bahamas president has resigned from the Embato company. In a press release issued today, it was revealed that Ton Dunlap voluntarily resigned today as Bahamas president, a position he held for five years. Now, the press release from Bahamar stated, according to Mr. Sarkis' Merlian, that Dunlap knew that a successfully completed and opened Bahamar would be immensely beneficial to the Bahamas and to the quality of life of Bahamians. Ismerlian also noted his dedication and commitment to continue at Bahamar to try to make this vision a full function in reality, despite what he called the failures of China Construction America, the general contractor, and the unsupportive actions of the Bahamian government. Now, for his part, Dunlap said the last eight months were filled with lessons, including the realization that the mandate of the liquidators and receivers was not aligned with Bahamars. And it was on that basis that Dunlap says he concluded he could no longer effectively carry out his role as president of the company.